This is the front of my 82 one ton four wheel drive. Um, it, if you look down below the bumper on the right side, you can barely see the tip of a, a cheap tow hook. And for a while now, I've been wanting to put some shackle mounts on the front, but I kind of want to maintain the stock look of the front. So we're going to see how that progresses. I'm going to build some build some shackle mounts to fit on the on the frame. You can see that cheap tow hook under there. Uh, who knows how strong that is. So this is what I came up with. I took a thin piece of cardboard, kind of like poster board, and gradually stuck it up under the front bumper on the frame horn and traced out this shape. Um, the frame horn is in this section and this hangs out below the bumper from here down. So that that's just a template. And then I transferred that onto a piece of wood, this real thin piece of wood. The two half inch holes are for uh, the mounting bolts through the frame. And there'll actually be another a third one in the middle. I just haven't cut it. And then the, the big hole on the bottom is for the shackle to go through. So when I'm not using the shackle, I probably won't keep them on the truck and then the mount will be hardly visible, just a tiny bit hanging below the bumper. So here's the wood template on the truck with the shackle, um, just a test fit. You can see that when I don't have the shackle on it, it's pretty low profile and it, it won't, uh, won't stick out too much. You probably won't be able to see it too, too much with uh, dark paint on it. So. Anyway, now I just got to transfer it to metal. This is a piece of 6 by 24 by 1 inch thick bar stock that I got from a buddy Chris. Um, so this is what I'm going to use to build the brackets out of. I'm going to trace the, trace the template on there and then start getting after it. So we'll, we'll see how it turns out here. Made some rough cuts on the plate. Um, cut it in half and then cut that diagonally. You can see how that, how the template fits on there. Um, I started off with a chop saw and that just didn't really work very well. So I moved to a uh, angle grinder, a four inch grinder with a cutoff wheel and just cut from both sides. That works fairly well. Um, I went through about oh, probably four or five cutoff wheels. Uh, I considered using a torch, but I didn't have it here with me and it just is kind of messy. The cut's a little bit messy, but and I wish I had a plasma, but don't have one. So anyway, I'll keep going. Here are the shackle brackets after a little bit more shaping. I've been working on the, the bottom one, as you can see here. I've been shaping it with a 36 grit flap wheel disc in the in the grinder. And I've been trying my best to leave as much material here as possible just so it's strong. So I uh, once I got close to the final shape, I just keep test fitting it in the truck. So now it fits in there and I just need to start drilling holes. Here are the brackets after a lot of grinding and drilling. Uh, the three holes on the top of each bracket are half inch holes to mount to the frame and then the large holes are one inch for the shackle. So I gotta paint them and then I'll show you them on the truck. Here are the brackets after a couple of coats of paint, uh, just a rattle can black to keep them from rusting and make them look a little bit better. Here's the hardware that I'm going to use for the brackets. Uh, the gold is the grade 8 bolts, washers, and nuts. And the gray nuts are nylock locking nuts. Um, I don't think they're grade 8, but they're going to go on after the grade 8 nuts just to keep, keep everything tight. Um, I got those at Tractor Supply. And you can also get the shackles at Tractor Supply Company. So uh, the grade 8 hardware they sell by the pound, so it might be a little bit cheaper than uh, hardware stores like Lowe's or Home Depot. But Here you can see the bracket mounted to the frame up behind the bumper with all the grade 8 hardware. There's three, three half inch grade 8 bolts through there with washers and nuts and then standard nylock nuts on there after that just to make sure that everything stays together and then the shackle mount hole below that. Here the shackle mounts are on the truck. Uh, they're pretty hard to see when the shackles aren't on there. They're just pretty low profile. It's hard to make them show up on the, on the video. But uh, they worked out real well.
And finally, here they are on the truck. Uh, project turned out real good. They look look good on the truck. I'll give you a close up here. I'm happy with with the way it turned out. Um, you can pull the shackle up a little more than horizontal, which is going to work well for poles. But a um, couple things I do want to mention: these are not certified or rated for a certain weight at all. If you choose to replicate this, you do so at your own risk. Um, they probably should not be used for any heavy duty pulls out of real deep mud. This is more for just, you know, slick surfaces in the snow or in the gravel or something. But, um, and also, I did not come up with this idea. It's a DIY 4x. Uh, I think Kurt's the first one that made these brackets for a customer. But uh, I personally think he should produce them for uh for consumers but anyway let me know if you guys have questions and i appreciate you watching